Well, I think the recipe for disaster is in the lower echelons of racing, where we have folks that maybe aren't in the best physical shape, they have some predisposed medical problems, they may be overweight, and they may be advanced in the age. And we are taking those folks and putting them in a race car with not all of the advanced safety equipment that should be in there. And they're not equipped or required to have the more advanced helmets, the more advanced Hans devices, but they're going speeds that are well over what is extremely dangerous. So hitting a wall in a car that's not designed to hit a wall at 130 or 140 mile an hour without wearing the proper safety gear is a recipe for disaster. And that's what we're seeing across the board in our lower echelons or amateur or sportsman level races where those folks are getting critically injured. Well, I think the first thing you got to do to fix that is you have to take control of it yourself as a, as a racer and you have to always have the highest level of safety equipment. The best helmet, the best Hans, you have to do everything possible to sway that issue in your favor so that when that crash does happen and it's gonna happen, that you have a survivable injury and the equipment helps you have that survivable injury. I understand it. I understand as a racer, you're looking to put more money into your race car or your race operation. You can buy new tires and you can buy new stuff, but obviously the danger of that is that you're going to end up significantly injured by not putting money into your safety equipment. And so safety has got to be paramount. I've worked on plenty of people that had one opportunity to survive an injury and never survived it. It doesn't take a lot for them to survive. It takes good focus on safety, some quality equipment, which is usually a very fraction of the budget that you spend in any year for racing, and they end up critically injured or worse. Yeah, I think Stand 21, moving forward, the, the safety message is relatively well recognized in the professional ranks. Right? They have all the safety equipment, they've got a lot of data, they've got everything that they, they need to be safe. Sometimes bad things happen, but predominantly those, those same levels of safety are not carried over into the amateur and sportsman ranks and therefore those folks, again, who are a higher risk patient because they're advancing in age, they have health issues, the injury severity would be higher if they had a traumatic injury. That all coming together is a disaster. Yeah, I think it's just a change in your focus. To focus for a few minutes on what could happen and how do we avoid that. For a relatively low dollar and an improvement in your confidence, it's worth every cent of it.